Russian Easter scene. And we're back with an all new mating game. Number 98. Two more to the blowout. I'm just telling you folks, it's going to be a hellacious damn show. Not that every one of them is, I think they're all wonderful actually. I see some very familiar faces. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Take it away, Tink. That was kind of weak. Take it away, Tink! That's better. Hey, Tink, you and my um, Tink fart smells, gosh damn it. This is all new mating game. Number 98, it's Fast Easter Sims said. I'm kind of scared about the 100th episode. Aren't you, Fred? I'm very scared today, too, Tink. But we have some people that are back. Awful. Just about every one of them, yeah. What's up, all the worries and nerd? Returning! Because I'm fucking tortured! Baby Ariel! Ah! What Ed! happened? Baby Ariel's back! Oh, hell no! Boys, <clears throat> oh no! Returning because I'm being tortured even worse. Ken! Thanks, Eloise. Ken Carson. Hi, Ken. Where's my shirt? No, oh, God help me. Returning the hell bad. Eloise Trancy. Oh no, I'm scared. Oh, you like being down here. Oh, I do, but not with these butts. And of course, our third chair is always. You know, I always say that, but actually, it's a fourth chair. I, I'm number three on this side. She's fucking in a chair by her shape. I don't count. Yeah. And. Polk! Well, I think. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm back. Of course, I'm here. I'm fucking I'm surprised you're not crying. All right, baby Ariel, go with your first question. Thank you, Tink. Battle number one. Yes. <laughs> oh God, help me! No, it's all right, Dad. I'll protect you. I don't think I have a plan. I gotta get a fucking damn Emmy for this fucking child. I don't think we're recognized by the by the by the awards associations, Ed. She's unkillable. Watch out, Ed. Am I able to speak now? Sorry, go ahead. I mean, it's very, very fucking red. Anyway, that's number one. What? My God, you're Wani! So are you. Where's his shirt? Oh my God, really? Do I have to do all this shit again, Tank? I'm sorry, baby Ariel, but yes. Nigga, how we have to deal with you? Where's I you? hate Wani people! Are you Wani? No, I'm not whiny at all. I'm kid. Where's my shirt? No, oh, God. Help me, help me, help me. <laughs> That's your number two! Yeah. I hate whiny people, you whiny. No, I'm not whiny at all. I'm the most ah, calm person you'll ever meet. Ah. Thank God for that! Oh, no, she's singing, ain't she? Ah. Shut up, Ed! It's a death call! Oh, God. Ah, ah, Ed! You're not usually whiny, but you're still fucking gross out, so- OW! Well, thanks for that shit. Hey, I'm gonna look at my damn phone like I'm being ignored. Buzzle number two! Yeah. <laughs> I love to wear sexy clothes and things are in fashion. How do you dress? I like to, I like to dress foxy and sexy. Nice, I like that. Yeah. Buzzle number one! Yeah! I have to wear fashionable, sexy clothes. What do you wear? I know you don't wear a damn shirt, so what else do you wear? I, I wear shorts and sandals. Oh, God, that's not, that's gross. So are you. Where's my shirt? Oh, Ed, what do you wear? I know you wear, but what is it? Uh, well, I wear a cut-off shirt. Cut-off shirt, shirt, and of course flip-flops. That's why I'm comfortable, because I'm a pope. That's sick, peg, 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 pe
Yeah, I swear, Ed. If I pick you today, I'm murdering your ass. Fucking dead on the damn ground! Uh-oh, this ain't nice. Prepared! Bachelor number one! I'm gonna run over you with a call, Bachelor number one. Bachelor number one! What? I just got threatened! Oh my god, who cares? I murder people every damn day, who cares? <laughs> oh god, hey, help me. <laughs> You said you wasn't whiny! I'm upset because you threatened me! I didn't say it's gonna kill you, dick! Not you! Bachelor number two! Whatever. Broad! Anyway! What'd you call me? A broad! You're dead. So are you. Where's my shirt? Oh my god. She's unkillable. That's uh, true, I tried fucking like, seven times one time on this damn show and she fucking never die won't. Anyway, what's your question? Oh, I like to ride in a convertible. Do you like to have your wind blowing through the hair? In the yeah, hair, I, mean? I do. That's what you say? You like to have your hair blowing in the hair? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Ed! I like to ride in jeeps, too. I have a pink one. Really? Yeah, I stole Barbie's Jeep. Whoa. Don't tell her. I think, I think she heard you. I didn't know she was in the audience. I am. What the heck? What happened to her voice? I don't know. Maybe all the time she yelled at me. That's probably true. That's number two. Yeah. I love to ride that convertible and let the wind blow through my hair. Do you enjoy doing that too? Yeah, I do. It's fun. Was it a nice warm day? It is so nice. Yeah. That's number three. Yes. <laughs> you like to ride in a convertible and let the wind blow through your hair? I do. I do enjoy that. If you had something, it would happen! <laughs> Poor Ed. That's a number two! Yeah. <laughs> What would you say is your best asset? My best asset? Um. Oh. Hair, eyes, butt cheeks, chest, it's legs, a, feet, who the hell knows? Whatever. It's hard to pick because there's so many options. But I'm mostly known for my beautiful blonde hair and blue eyes. Oh, it sounds very lovely. And my butt, because it's sexy. That's only my one! Yeah! What's your best asset? My abs! And my hard rocking butt! Oh, God, I want a cupcake on that one. Help me, help me, help me! I'll give you a bacon one. Well, Ed, what's yours? That's be my sexy fucking eyes. Oh, my God, really? You really gonna say that? You're a Peggy, Peggy, Peggy! You're. Uh, I can't even use. Uh, uh, no! You're not sexy! That all depends on who's looking at me. You may not think I'm sexy, but other women do. So, that's your opinion, and that's fine, but my opinion is I'm sexier than half, so there you go. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't even know. I don't. Who cares? I'm surprised she's being so calm about this. I think you're gonna call me a fat ass fucking bastard, what I thought. I'm surprised she didn't. I am too. I don't know what makes she's on medication now. I don't do, I don't love. Yeah, me too. She called me a piggy piggy pig, so I figured that makes me fucking I, actually that's a compliment because I love fucking ham and pork. So I love pigs, so they don't that don't bother me at all. Something wrong. Perfect was tickling well. Oh, okay. That's it, number one! What? I love a man with beautifully styled hair. Ah. What'd you say hair is beautifully styled? It's beautifully styled. I yeah, it is. Ah. I'm Ken. I've seen you, Ken. You look like you have a plastic head doll. I don't even know. My hair's real. I like your butt and stuff. I had a Barbie when I was a kid. It always had real hair. Ken was plastic. I'm not plastic, I'm real. That's a number two. Yeah. I 
I love a man with very, very fashionable hair. How, how's your hair? My hair is very fashionable. <laughs> oh, God, hear me. That's another damn hair question. She knows I'm fucking bothered. I'm Make you do it on purpose. Make you upset. Oh, thank she is. Damn it, Claude. Would you leave him alone? He's trying to do a fucking show. Hail. That's a number three. You have no hair. I have hair on the sides. I keep the sides neatly trimmed. My up, uh, my top is not shiny or greasy, and I keep a little powder on top. So I think my hairstyle is very nice. Whatever, God, I, I swear! It is gross, piggy, piggy, piggy. Yeah, so you said, Bill. There would be a fucking gross, piggy, 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 and a fucking no account, fucking <clears throat> nasty, fucking damn slut. How dare you! Oh my God, I'm gonna kill you in ten different ways. Good luck with that. I think you just killed me once. Well, it's ten. <laughs> That's true. I think she fucking sucks too, Alois. Oh, God help me. That's a number two. Yeah. I love tight jeans on a man. You like tight jeans? I I would wear tight jeans. Yeah, they're pretty tight to me. I wear tight short shorts though normally. That's a number two, plastic head man. You mean that's a number one? I'm sorry, that's a number one. Ah, he just admitted he's plastic headed! <laughs> but I'm not plastic headed, you skank! What did he say? Oh, uh, I think he called you a skank, which I don't think that word's ever been used on here. I should name it now, mine. Oh my god. <clears throat> She's gonna go in rage mode. Listen to me, young man. I don't care what you have to say. Take your fucking plastic hair. It's not plastic, it's real! Set up fucking your ass cheek and up your fucking ass hoe and walk crooked for about fucking two or three miles. Now you do this to your high heel broad. No, I'm sick of yours, you little motherfucker! How? Moving on! Ed! Yes, ma'am. What are you being for the night? Now, she's screaming, so I must go sit here. She fucking hopefully pick him and kill him. I don't want to be dead right now. I know you wear tight pants, right? I do. We're usually tight shorts, so yes, ma'am, I do. All right, fine. That's a number. I'm frozen. What happened? Oh, that's better. That's a number two. Yeah. You sound very, very sweet. Thank you. I like sweet guys. I like guys to do whatever I want. When I say something, they just go and do it and don't say a word, right? Um. Actually, I don't do that because I'm royalty. Are you a prince? Oh, I'm an, I'm, uh, I'm an earl. Yeah, that's it. That's good. That's good. I like that. I take orders, not, and I get. And but I you did for me, wasn't you? Um. I actually probably have his butler, baby. Yeah, I close my butler, so you have to ask him. Ah! You have a butler? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay, I love you. Women love him. They say he's sexy. Uh, Oh no, she's singing again. That's the name of one! What? But you drop everything you're doing when I ask you to do something and just do it. Yeah. Well, at least that's one good answer you did. Because I want to I wanna make my, my girlfriend happy because I'm kid. I don't think your butt's ever make anybody happy. I can do sweet things. That's the number three. But you drop everything you're doing and make me happy. Well, let's see here. Not normally. But since you start killing people, I probably would. This time, yeah. yeah I don't I, I don't want to die. I just don't. Ed, no, be brave. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Ed would not do anything. He would just argue. That's how he is. <coughs> I probably... <coughs> <coughs> Damn it, shit, hell, fire. All right, go with your last question, baby Ariel. Thank you, Dick. That's the number one. Yeah. Tell me your worst day and what you did. My what? My... <laughs> ah! That's so British! Ah! That's British! I think British. she said bachelor number one, Alois. I know, it's all right. Don't worry about it. I was trying to say kids. I know, I can't stand the motherfucker anyway. Yeah, I know. I was trying to kind of 
save kids and maybe he'll be normal, but it won't work. And um, my worst day was a Barbie. How dare you? I, she spilled spaghetti on my lap and it burned my crotch. I have the nub anyway, so who cares? If he put it on my nose and my nostrils were on fire. You probably deserved it, you ass! And I sneezed out spaghetti in her hair and she dumped her drink on me and stepped on my butt with her high heel. How'd she step on your butt? She rolled me over like a pancake. Okay. And stepped on me. And used me as her shoe for a week. Oh god, really? That's it number two! <clears throat> What was your worst day, and what did you do? My worst day, Dada, was with this one girl. Her name was Eliza. That's pretty nice. Yeah, but here's the thing. She wasn't very pleasant. No. Yeah. All she did was ask me to buy her whatever she wanted. What's wrong with that? Well, she wanted the most expensive oh. things. And all she did was use me for her money and she cheated on me. Okay, whatever. That's what I do. But I whatever. caught her with another guy at a restaurant. Uh -huh. So Claude took her so. There you go. That was a good end. Um, I'm confused. Oh, your worst day. But it ended good. Uh, uh, never mind. <clears throat> okay, Ed, what was your worst day ever? And what'd you do? I got so many fucking worst days, it's ridiculous. I do turn out sometimes pretty good, but not most of the time. I guess it had to be with this girl named Anastasia. That's a pretty name. Yeah, but she, she's pretty as hell, but... <laughs> Oh, you sure wasn't Stewie, Oh, my God. I didn't think about that. Anyway, she's a red-headed little freaking face girl with some big old titties and a nice little shape of ass. Oh, God, I just remembered it. That fucking awful. <clears throat> and we were sitting there one day at a picnic table. And this big old storm come up. It was thunder and lightning and all kinds of shit. I said, here, I'm going to run to the truck real fast, get you an umbrella. She said, well, thank you, Ed. That's very nice. I said, no problem. So anyway, I ran the truck. I had my damn flip-flops on, my fucking short shorts. She's watching my ass. I know she was. I could tell you. I slid down on the fucking damn ground, slid under the fucking truck, and couldn't get out. I stuck. Uh-oh. Yeah, it was awful. I was yelling for help, and she's like, what do you want me to do? I can't lift that damn truck up. I said, well, do something. Call somebody. I don't know. My head was staying out. My head was hanging out from under the damn truck and I was getting soaking, fucking wet. Damn rain burning my fucking nostrils. I was about to drown, I think. Lightning striking everywhere. Next thing I know, she's walking over there. Oh, God, it was awful. Oh, she quit singing. I really can't stand that. And next thing I know, she sits there and grabs the damn umbrella out of the damn truck, sticks it in the fucking ground. Right over my head. I said, what'd you do that for? She said, well, that way you won't drown and get water in your face and shit while you wait, we're waiting for somebody to come. I said, I see. Well, of course, you know an umbrella has a metal pole in it. Yeah. That worried me. I said, maybe you'll get that thing out of the ground because I could get struck by lightning. Uh-oh. And she's trying to pull it out of the ground when she trapped. She pulled and she, I don't know. She must have hammered the damn thing in there. I have no idea. Anyway, next thing I know, she's pulling and tugging and pulling and tugging. Next thing I know, big old fucking clap of thunder and fucking lightning struck down. Struck her on that fucking damn. She had that damn umbrella in her hand. It struck her fucking. She was just sizzling. I was screaming. Couldn't really see too much. But I could see her feet fucking shaking and fucking electric. electric Shit fucking flying out everywhere. I thought I was going to get fucking burnt. Anyway, they say I know she fucking falls to the damn ground and the umbrella goes flying in the fucking air. I don't know what happened. I guess electricity knocked down the damn ground. 
Yeah, I got so damn slippery, I just kind of pushed myself out from the truck. Anyway, she laying there on the fucking damn ground, blacker than a damn fucking piece of coal. And electricity's just shooting off her fucking body. And she wasn't really talking or anything. She's just staring up at the sky. I didn't know if she's dead or not. They say, I know fucking ambulance comes, police cars come. I said, hey, I got out of the, other, the truck, but she was trying to get the umbrella out of the damn ground. And she got sizzled. So I don't know what happened. And then I thought I smelled Aww. fucking bacon for hours after that. I don't know. It might have been her smell. I don't know. She turned out to be okay. He told me that about two or three days later. And next thing I know, she blamed me for all this shit. That and wasn't your fault. I, that's what I thought. Anyway, I, I saw her about two days later walking down the street. She saw me. And she saw that damn burnt umbrella in her fucking hand. Her skin was still kind of charred, but... And she was stuttering a little bit, I think from electric shit, electric shit in whatever shop. Anyway... I thought, man, well, maybe I shouldn't say anything to her. I just kept walking. They say, I know I felt this fucking pain. I about fucking flew off the damn ground. She took that fucking umbrella up my fucking asshole. Pumped a fucking hole in my damn shorts! And my underwear! I walked around for the fucking week with my fucking umbrella fan up my fucking asshole. Anyway, that's my story. Holy shit, Ed! Where the hell do you find these women? I had no idea they show up my damn life. Oh. Alright, we're gonna take a quick commercial and you can <laughs> I don't even know anymore. We'll be right back, folks. Oh right, right back on that brief commercial. Thank you for the hemorrhoid okay. shit. I don't even know. Maybe you always like bachelor number one. I don't know, maybe. Bachelor number two. You like him, he's sweet. <laughs> or no, I'm not thinking that. Thank God. He's just safe today. I'm a bit bachelor number two. Really? It's sweet. Thank God I'm safe. <clears throat> no, I'll get you next time, you motherfucker. Thank you for saving me. I guess she's more <laughs> interested in a good date than a fucking killing date. Well, I'm short. But... Oh my God, you look very nice. <clears throat> Hello. Where'd you like to go? Whatever you want. Let's go, come on. I'll pick oh, a restaurant. Let's go. I'll buy you some donuts. So Hi, Fred. Oh, 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 I missed you. You're the really sweet guy. I like you. <laughs> yeah, he's got a big mouth. I don't want that damn Ken asshole. I'm fucking Ed does, too. Are you coming, Are you coming, Eloise? Yeah. I have to go to the toy first. Hang on. Church is probably calm. Is she on medication? <clears throat> I have no idea. Oh, what if she's plotting? Anyway, looks like to be a maybe a very nice date. Who knows? Stay tuned next week, folks, for, for an all-new mating game. It'll be number 99. So close to the 100. I'm Tink Bells. Have a nice evening! Thank you so much, Tink. I have to say, I'm shocked at Baby Ariel. There was camaraderie between her and Ed and Ken, but she didn't go berserko like she usually does. I'm sure. I'm wondering what the hell's going on. Aren't you? I am. I guess you had to go to the bathroom. I don't know. Eloise is just waiting. But stay tuned next week, folks, for an all-new mating game. And thank you so much, everyone. And what do we say? Goodbye, everybody. Hell yeah.